Now everybody's running. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a dog Zoning <laughs> out. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that's a cheesy grin. I had the funniest dream last night. I dreamt that Janae cried in the middle of the night and we went to get her. Jeremy used Parmesan cheese to get her to go back to sleep. Maybe it's a sign. Like, he didn't feed her Parmesan cheese. He was, like, shaking it. Like, I was like, what? The soothing sound of shaking <laughs> Parmesan cheese. Just a little parenting tip. We're in Utah. Last night. We flew to Utah. We flew to Utah. We're staying in a rental house. We'll have to let the kids show you around. It's a pretty unique house. Oh. Oh. She's... <laughs> So I was worried because of the time change, the kids were going to be up super early, but it's not bad. It's like 7.30. Well, they went to bed at 11. That's true. How'd you sleep? Good. Dude, tell them where you slept. On the top bunk. On the top bunk. He's been wanting to do that for years. Breakfast. Well, we don't have any food at this house. Yet. Yet. <laughs> so breakfast is a good idea. But we might have to go get it. We might have to. So one of the things we love about staying at vacation rentals is how unique each one of them is. This is my room. This is your room? And up here is Elise's. Oh, sorry. Up here is my bunk. You get to sleep on the top? Yep. Nene no. really no. wants to climb up. No. Are you doing a tour? No. Do you want to show us around? Sure. This is the main living area, and then this, here's the back backyard. Yard. So yeah, it's pretty good. Do you guys smell that smell? Yeah, it's like barbecue. It's called forest fire. And then you would come up and there's the kitchen. The garage is over there. Mama. And that's the dining room. How'd you sleep last night? I slept good. It, so there was this big dog that came up to me in my dream and it felt weird. What did it feel like? Well, it felt like he was licking me. It was me. Fighting. I came and kissed you. Really? And what, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's being so brave. She's trying to walk down a step without scooting or sitting down the step. <laughs> it's like a leap of faith. <laughs> you did it! She comes up to it and like, if I act like I'm jumping and start to just fall forward, I'll catch myself. I start to go. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Guys, she's growing up so fast. For some reason, I've been thinking a lot about how sad I am that she's growing up. <laughs> so last night at the airport, my mom and my stepdad. Yeah, you doing it? They greeted us at the airport, and they're leaving right now, today, this morning, to go to Puerto Rico for a whole year to serve the people there. They're gonna be trying to help people with getting jobs, like helping with their resume or interviewing or starting small businesses, and they're gonna be sharing their faith. My stepdad already speaks Spanish, but my mom is really working on her Spanish, and I'm just so grateful for their example. Our kids have such great grandparents. Right now we're going to see the game room. The game room. Okay. Ping pong, foosball, and an office. And a nene bug. This is my room. I sleep up here, and Isaac sleeps down there. And here's Nene's room. You got a bed all to yourself. Yeah. Papa and Mugger are gonna come for a little bit, and they'll be staying in this room. Since we're staying at this rental house for almost two weeks, we definitely need to go grocery shopping, but that's never fun, so we're trying to make it more fun today. We divided into two teams. Here's my team. Team Mom. Team Mom. I've got Caleb and Laura. Here's Team Dad. We divided the list in half, and we're going to the grocery store that we went to the whole time we lived here, so it's kind of nostalgic for us. All right. The official start is about to begin. Yeah, you know, there's rules. You can't run over little children or old women. No running in general. No running. So did any of you ever watch a show called Supermarket Sweep? I did. It was so fun. They would like be running through the store, getting stuff in there. I loved it. My adrenaline was always like pounding the whole time. Supermarket Sweep. Heather takes off without her cart. 
But back at the counter, here comes Willie of Team Two. So that's what we're doing. Speed grocery shopping. Without running. Without running. No running, that's a rule. We just need a strategy. <gasps> oh, I have good. Really? There's like an official strategy to this? Our strategy is simple. I don't want to lose any of my children, and I want to win. Any strategy? I need the list to see what we should get first. Here's our list. It has been so long since I've been inside this grocery store. So many memories. She's walking fast. Oh, we don't need that many paper towels. Okay, gluten-free. We gotta find a gluten-free one. We asked for some help on the gluten-free bread. We had a lifeline come to help us. You think this is called cheating? No, 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 you're allowed to ask for help. Found it. Gluten-free bread. All right, what's next? Okay, we need milk. We got the yogurt. Butter. We decided to get toiletries first. Did you find some good toothpaste? Okay. This one. 189, 189. So they're all the same price, so you just have to choose flavored. Coconuts. Baby needs diapers are on this aisle. Let's go get them. Her. What's next on the list? Produce. What's produce? I don't know. Do you know what produce is? Oh dear, we're in trouble. So this is produce. Fruit. And? Vegetables. Yes. So it was this exact spot in this exact store where Jeremy and I came on Halloween night to get a pumpkin to carve a pumpkin when we were engaged. And there were no pumpkins, they were all out. And so instead we got a honeydew. And that is where the carving honeydew tradition began. One of my teammates is wanting to jump ship. She saw another team across the way. <laughs> it's a train. Laura, go on their team. Laura, you're with us. Look at the list, do we got it all? We have butter? Yeah. yeah. We're done! We're done! Go. Let's go! Well, I'm pretty sure that I just lost the game for our team because I ran into a friend who I haven't seen for a while and she'd had a new baby and it was so fun to chat. So, yeah, we're running behind. I was easily distracted. I love visiting with my friend and it's just so interesting being at a different grocery store and seeing all the different brands of things they carry. Like, check this out. I'm in the ice cream section. Totally different brands of ice cream. Hey, there's this brand, Tillamook. I've never heard of that. And this brand is called Red Button Vintage Creamery. Also never heard of that. My favorite part about this park is the huge trees. Like you can just tell this park's been around for a really long time because these trees are gorgeous. Whoa, you got it dude. Way to go, this thing's cool. I haven't seen monkey bars like this before. What is it about kids and wanting to go up slides? <laughs> So with the forest fire, it's actually one canyon south of where we're staying. So we're not super close to the fire, but the smoke really blows in. It's funny how it's heavier in some areas than others, because we just drove in, and I didn't even think we'd be able to stop at the park to play. But here, the smoke's not nearly so bad, so we can get out and enjoy running around. So we announced that we only had five minutes left, and Isaac decided that in that five minutes, he wanted to try to run around the park 15 times. And then Kendra decided to try to join him. We'll see if they can do it. Ready, set. Go! It's official! I can't keep up with my son! Nanny wanted to jump in. She's running laps. Now everybody's running. It's a good way to get their energy out. Or mine. You have one minute and 15 seconds. See if you can get two more in. 20 seconds! 20 seconds! 10! Nine. The time just ran out. How many laps did you get? I didn't even do that. Twelve. That is incredible. Well done. I'm not gonna run anymore. It's a good decision. You ran hard. Twelve laps in five minutes. It was good. So I'm in the kitchen getting something ready, and I hear the happiest sound. It's ping pong. <laughs> so close. This makes me so happy to see you guys up here. Well, I think this is my favorite moment of the day so far. I'm sitting outside. The wind has blown the smoke the opposite direction, so the weather is gorgeous and we can breathe nicely. But we're just relaxing. We're done with school. Jeremy's taking a break from work. I'm sitting here with my feet up reading this book. Lacey, what are you reading? This book. This book. And I'm reading 
Go, 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 go! Yeah? What a play! Janae's digging with a stick, and the boys are playing. What are you playing? Football! So to make it fair, I'm a receiver, but I can only walk. I love it. This is my favorite version of this game. <laughs> Great throw, Cubby! Yeah, throw. Ah! Did you find a stick? Speed walking is surprisingly challenging. Did you get it? <laughs> Good work. What are you playing? Well, that's fun. You're gonna try to pick it up with your stick. You're using the stick, you did it! I need to wipe your booger ah! nose. You got it! Running. I call running. <laughs> I had both. One foot was on the ground. And Your feet were like straight. It was a little awkward. <laughs> she picked up this little thing with that device. She did a Chinese chopstick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chopsticks? She tried over and over again and then she succeeded. She's so proud too. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to my book. But I just wanted to share this moment because I wanted to remember it. And just remind myself that no matter where we travel and no matter where we go and the awesome stuff that we see and the fun stuff we do, my favorite moments never fail to be the little quiet moments that are unplanned and unscheduled together as a family. And they also tend to be moments when everybody's getting along. Yeah. Got it! Oh, she's throwing. Throw. She's serious about it too. Come on. Throw it to daddy. Nene, nee, right here. <laughs> nee. There must be a dog. Zoning <laughs> out. <laughs> she's a statue. Yeah! 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 You can do it. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> hey, Gemma. Best part about being in Utah is getting to see our family. My sister Marla and her family live here and they just moved into a new house so it's fun to get the full house tour and see all the improvements they've been making to the house and hear about all their plans. And Anyway, we're visiting and having cousin time and my parents are here too, so lots of fun. Working with the dirt. Put some dirt in you. The kids are loving the dirt. Sam's cooking up some chicken. It smells amazing out here. <laughs> One, two, three. So we're having yummy ice cream. How's your ice cream? Aren't those the cutest bowls ever? When you get better, it doesn't. So I've been talking about her, but here's my sister Marla. Hello. She's technically my little sister, but she's grown up now. We're friends. <laughs> Dance party.